Hello everyone, this is Mariam from Crochet Chapel and today we want to learn how to crochet this beautiful pattern. So let's get started. To get started, start chaining a multiple of 10. I made 20 chains to demonstrate. Now add 2 more chains, 1 and 2. Skip the first chain, make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and make another single crochet into the next. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Skip the next 2 chains, make a double crochet into each of the next 3 chains. Here's the first one, here's the second one. And the third one. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two chains, make a single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next chain, make a single crochet next. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two chains, make one double crochet into each of the next three chains. One, Two and three. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the next two chains, make a single crochet next. And at the end of the row, you'll have one chain left, make a single crochet into the last. And this is how it looks like at the end of row 1. Row 2, turn your project. Make a double crochet into the very first stitch. My first double crochet in every row is one single crochet plus two chains. And if it's too high, make one single crochet plus one chain. Now make one chain and make another double crochet into the same space, into the same stitch I mean. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. In the middle double crochet of your previous row, make a single crochet. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, in the chain one space between two single crochet of our previous row, make one double crochet right here. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Make a single crochet into the middle, double crochet of this group of our three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. And continue this pattern as many stitches as you have. And in the last single crochet of your previous row, make one double crochet. Chain one and one double crochet. And this is how it looks like at the end of row 2. Row 3, turn the project and make a double crochet into the first stitch. Actually, the last stitch of our previous row. So, my first double crochet, as I told you, is one single crochet plus two chains. And into chain 1 space, make another double crochet. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Into chain 3 space, make a single crochet. Chain 1. Make another single crochet into the next chain 3 space. 
chain three, one, two, three. Make a double crochet in two. Chain one space here. Make another double crochet into this double crochet. And make another double crochet into this chain one space. Chain three, one, two, three. Make a single crochet into this chain three space. Chain one, make another single crochet into the next chain three space and repeat this process for as many stitches as you have. Chain three at the end of the row and make a double crochet into the last double crochets. The last two double crochets. Here's the first one and the last double crochet goes into the second chain of our first double crochet of, of the last row which was one single crochet plus two chains make your last double crochet into the second chain I make it in both loops right here and this is the end of row three row four turn your project and make a single crochet into the very first stitch Chain three, one, two, three. In the chain one space between two single crochets, make one double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Make a single crochet into this second stitch of the group of three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. In chain one space between two single crochets, make one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And continue this pattern as many stitches for as many stitches as you have, and at the end of the row, chain three, one, two, three, and make a single crochet into the last double crochet. Our last double crochet was one single crochet plus two chains and make a single crochet into the last stitch. Our last stitch was our last double crochet actually was one single crochet plus two chains. Make it into the second chain in both loops here. And this is how it looks like at the end of row four. 5, turn your project and make a single crochet into the very first stitch. Make another single crochet into the next chain 3 space. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Now we reach this group. Make a, make a double crochet into this chain 1 space between 2 double crochets. Make another double crochet into this the second double crochet. And make your last double crochet into this chain one space. Chain three, one, two, three. Make a single crochet into this chain one space. Chain one. Make another single crochet into the next chain three space. I said chain one. That's chain three space. Okay, chain three, one, two, three. Make a double crochet into this chain one space. Another double crochet into this double crochet, second double crochet. And the last double crochet into this chain one space. And continue this pattern for as many stitches as you have at the end of the row, chain three, one, two, three. Make a single crochet into this chain three space. And the last single crochet into this last single crochet. This is how it looks like at the end of row 5. And from here, repeat row 2, 3, 4, and 5 to get the desired length. And this is how it looks like at the end. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it, turn on post notifications, write your comments down below, and support me. See you next tutorials. Bye!